Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Here's an update what's going on at Yellowstone. There was a magnitude, at least uh, a three there at the park late last night. USGS said it was a 2.4, but it was a three. All the roads are closed, so um, there's no one to report that they felt this earthquake. So they can basically get away with anything they want. Uh, here's the location. There was another one earlier before that. They're saying was a, a 1.4 on the 10th. But the only one they're reporting is this 2.4. Like I said, it was actually a 3, a little bit larger. I downloaded data from five different monitors. I'm just showing four of them right here. This here is Maple Creek. And let me bring this down so you can see it. It actually came in as a magnitude 3.14. Yeah, it rattled for quite a while and brought up a lot of toxic gas and heat. And you can see all the other earthquakes that have happened more recently. Um, there was another one coming in when I was downloading the data, but um, this one probably is the most recent. This here is the monitor for Maple Creek, Holmes Hill. Borehole 208, West Thumb. Let me go to the seismic signature there so you can see it better. And Borehole 950. We'll go to its seismic signature. They're not reporting it. Now, 1309 Universal Time would be 609 uh, there at the park. It's currently um, almost 8 o'clock. Here, um, Central Daylight Time. I downloaded this a little bit ago and was looking up different data. This comes in as a magnitude, let me bring it down, a magnitude 2.16. They're not reporting it. Remember when they started having uh, magnitude 2s, um, they said years ago that they would be con concerned about the earthquakes. Again, this is Maple Creek. And look at them all. So that's the most recent one in red. Let's see, we got another one right there. Again, Maple Creek. Let me pull it over. Um, all right, so that comes in at 1.89. You can see I shortened it up. Let's see, then we got... The, let's go to the seismic signature. Yeah, so we got... Um, Fault movement, popping of the ground. The ground's getting really brittle. Um, and volcanic tremors. Let me go to this one. Okay. This is at uh, 1208 Universal. I'll end it there. Comes in as a 2.07. Yeah, and we'll go to the seismic signature. Yeah. Yeah, volcanic. See that? Rounded tops and fault movement. Ground getting really brittle as it um, pushes the magma, pushes up against uh, you know, the crust of the earth. All right, the next one at 11.51. Let's see. Probably, I'll shorten it up. 1.70. The next one maybe right there uh, 1.73 it could be larger I probably should make it over here which would make it a, a 2.03 let me show you right there all right two point I'll call it a, a 2.03 the next one okay Let's check out the seismic signature. All right. Looks like it rattled for a little bit, and then we got another little popping there. Often they would add that in, but I'm not going to. I'm going to end it right before it. 1.80. Now, if they added it in, let's see here. It would probably come in as a 1.99. So that's up to you. Let's see, and then we got another popping right there. Um, 
that would be a magnitude 1.93 and then up over here you can see we got slow moving tremors let me bring this up and over for you oh we got a little one there um, again this is Maple Creek slow moving tremors yeah fault movement okay we got a little one is it there or is it there or is it there I can't tell I can't find it but it's so little yeah and then we got more slow moving tremors here slow moving tremors there now this is the monitor for Holmes Hill yeah we got a lot more smaller ones that show up here this is the one that was just coming in when I pulled the files. Uh, let's see, and that was at 1318 Universal. So again, that was at 618 AM local time. It's currently um, 706 AM there at the park. And that would come in as a magnitude 1.02. Okay, lots and lots of popping look at all that now Holmes Hill let me show you the monitor is over here on um, the left on the east side right there let me close this out this is um, the location of that 2.4 it was actually a 3 and okay so Holmes Hill there let me move this around okay right up over there down here is Yellowstone Lake and I have data from two different boreholes um, 208 and 950 let me see here okay 208 is the one by the fishing bridge uh, where Yellowstone Lake empties out into the Yellowstone River and then 950 Five zero. Oh, okay, it's up over here, right there. In let's see, is that it? Yeah, right there. Okay, and that's the location to the uh, top north of the uh, two point four. Actually, the magnitude three. Okay, so this is a borehole under the ground borehole 950 it only shows what is happening under the ground and you can see all the little earthquakes that came in that this borehole also picked up so there is no um, reason not to report any of these earthquakes no reason whatsoever so here's the monitor for West Thumb which is on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake there, yeah, there's that other earthquake that I was reporting you can see lots of them but I wanted to see if we had screaming going on we do have some pop in here um, yeah volcanic tremors there's that 3.0 blobs of magma coming in and there's the line of melt let's I only went back about 16 hours because I got five different monitors and if I pull more than that, then the data won't show. I want to see where the magma started. To... There we go. The line of melt where that started to show up. All right, right there where we got an earthquake. Okay. That's where it kicked in. Right there. Okay, go to the spectrogram. You can see it. Let me pull it a little bit farther earlier. You can see it, and then it started kicking in yeah okay and it lasted I don't know it started fading out okay um not very long maybe about 10 minutes there's another quake there and we'll come down and see what else was going on here um west thumb yeah, and then we got blobs of magma see how it coincides with the thickening of the lines let me come over yeah gearing up for another eruption who knows when that's gonna happen 
Yeah, I just don't know. Yeah. I didn't pull the data back far enough for the supposed 1.4. Um, that location, supposedly. Yeah, maybe down by Heart Lake. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. That's a little concerning. See, this is the uh, Pitchstone Plateau. My last report was that earthquake that um, occurred over here by, uh, what lake is this? Lewis Lake. Remember I talked about this. This is the area that did its last unzipping. And Pitchstone Plateau is one of the last uh, fairly large eruptions. This occurred about 70,000 years ago. So we still got um, activity. What happened when it unzipped it, um, multiple eruptions starting up in the Madison River area. And it did a counterclockwise, probably around the outside walls of the caldera. And it went boom, 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 boom. And when it came down here to this location, they suspect it was close to Heart Lake. Um, that is when both the Resurgent Domes, the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome and the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome collapsed. And then they had its major eruption. I hope someone's on duty. I was going to show you the uh, Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. They're looking at Beehive. Yeah, someone took over the camera. But the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome is that large hill that you often see. Um, in this location up towards um, the top of this camera. Yeah, and they're looking at Beehive. I'll wait a minute. So, All right, they moved the camera. This here is the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. And yeah, it kind of pops up out of the ground. Fairly significant uplift because of the magma um, coming up under the ground, putting the pressure there. But this is the area. Most volcanoes only have one resurgent dome. But Yellowstone has two. So someone decided they were going to watch and move the camera there. So anyways, yeah. Um, let's go to the live stream view. This is what it's showing now. And yeah, you can see all the earthquakes, how they show up on multiple monitors. This would be the Madison River area, basically. Yeah, where it um, started its last major eruption about 350,000 years ago. But you can see they're all on there. And then the bottom two, um, that is West Thumb and the Yellowstone Lake um, borehole. You can see the quakes there, too. This is not outside noise. None whatsoever. It is only what's happening under the ground. So that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared. You never know. Uh, you can have all kinds of adverse weather, earthquakes, volcanic eruption, or World War III. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.